Alrighty guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Eternia. This, this is you too young for this. And no, we don't want to camp because we camped last time in the ruins of Volt. And we got about the halfway point. There's still one more thingy that we need to do in order to get to Volt. Um, and I don't know what this is, but what is this room? We better be careful. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think so. I see. This ain't going to be easy. <laughs> no, duh. I don't think brute force is going to get us through. We need a clue. Let's go look around. Figuring this out is going to be tough without Keel to help us. Alright, apparently we can't do that yet. We need to go and grab something else that m may reduce the power in that room. Hopefully it'll reduce the power in that room. I don't know. Actually, yeah, we've been stuck in this uh, place for an episode. We might be stuck in here for maybe one more, one or two more episodes. Hopefully I'll be able to get to the end today and then uh, work my way back out of this place. It's a lot easier getting out of this place than it is uh, getting into it. It really is. Like I said before, this place is tough. And... Yeah. <laughs> If you are not prepared, you will feel the pain like I am doing right now. I haven't upgraded my equipment or gotten holy bottles, and I said no to camp, you stupid idiot. Every single time I enter that room, it always asks me that. Do you want to camp? Do you want to camp? Do you want to camp? Uh, no, I do not want to camp. Uh, Panacea bottles, we already have plenty. All right. Let's go into this next room. What's going on here? A device of some sort. Farah, I got it. Look at the panel. There is a slot. I bet you're surprised to in. I bet you're supposed to enter something into the slot. Uh, did you want to say something, Reed? Uh, nothing. I am not even gonna uh, comment on that. Because if I do, my mind will go back into the gutter, and, well, you guys know what happens when my mind goes into the gutter. If you guys don't know what happens when my mind goes into the gutter, rewind a couple of parts ago. Actually, two parts, to be exact. Yeah. The thing is, is that when my mind does go down that track, it's really, really hard to get it back out of the gutter. So, I try not to go down that road. Because all I'd be saying is, that's what she said all the time. Or something similar to that, anyway. Anyway, enough of this battle. Get out of my way, you freaking mist. How the crap we can hit mist with her sword of ice, I have no idea. But hey, we'll go with it, right? At least we can uh, get rid of it and continue onward, right? Alright, so... Let's go ahead and go off into this door and see what's going on. Ooh, Thunder Cape. I am actually going to be equipping that on, not Reed, but Farah, I want to say. I'm not going to equip it on, um, yeah, I'll equip it on Farah. I'm not going to equip it on Max because he's actually fairly useless against, um, against the boss, against Volt, basically. So. And you guys will see why soon enough. Ooh, Rune Bottle and Red Sage. Actually, pretty good, useful items right there. Alright, this is what we need, this little item right here. Read, this must be it. The key to the device. Maybe we'll manage without Keel after all. Yeah, no problem. That's what you keep on saying. But is there really no problem at all? That's going to be really interesting. Yeah, the door's not open, so we're going to have to go all the way back down and around. <sighs> Just check and see what level I have. I'm 36. I would like to be a little higher than that, but... I think we'll do fine. Hopefully. Get through this. Um... 
Yeah, the uh, left button opens the top door, and I don't know what the red button does, the central button in that one. So I am just going to leave it be for now. Ooh, I still need to insert that thingy into the device. So we shall go do that. Read that thing we picked up. Right. It worked. I wonder what it did. Let's go back. We shall see. Hopefully we can get through that room with all that raging electricity now. Hopefully if we don't run into any more battles. Come on. Yeah, I'll camp this time. Since I need actual HP restoration. I'd actually take the TP at uh, toilet paper restoration as well. Unfortunately, uh, camping does not restore TP. Don't know why. But yeah, we can actually survive this room now. Unfortunately, it's still like a maze to us. I think I already... F Ooh, hello. Did I? Seriously? That was a lot easier than I remember it being. Yeah, I remember that room taking me about five minutes to get down. I have to make the uh, electricity go a certain path. And... Yeah. And also be able to get to the door. But anyway, as you can see, there is Volt up there. I am going to be healing a bunch of people. Not go to customize, but... Heal. Alright, HP. See, Farrah needs a bit. Reed needs a bit. And TP. Yeah, there we go. And while I'm in here, Max, I'm gonna head turn off your burning force, because that is going to be completely and utterly useless. Max is going to be a pretty, pretty much going to be a uh, punching bag in this one because he has no skills whatsoever. Anyway, let's go up to face Volt. It doesn't look like it's in a very good mood. Merity's scared. We have no choice but to approach him. White switch. White switch. What? What is this white switch? Must be broken. Uh. Bye, <laughs> Max. Yeah. Uh oh, here he comes. And we start off the battle with Max at only one HP. Oh my goodness, Max, you are stupid as crap. Why must you be like that? Anyway, Spread is going to be your best friend, seeing as Volt is weak to it. I don't know how, but it defies the laws of traditional RPGs where electricity is strong against water. Yeah, electricity is strong against water in the effect if, in the effect if, in the fact that if you attack it using electricity, but yet when water attacks electricity in this one, it is strong against it as well. Now, well, Max, that's that's right. He just he's just gonna be sitting there being a doofus all the freaking time. Ah, uh, but hopefully we can get the Vitality Max. I probably already have gotten it up to Max once, but me, being the stupid idiot that I am, is actually going after Volt because I don't want him to actually kill my team. So yeah, and the, the uh, developer's reasoning on why uh, water can hurt electricity is because machines oh hello hello why is this is going to hurt really really bad um no 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 everybody's dead except for reed yay life bottle on Farah. and life bottle on merity Yeah, that's right. There we go. Vitality maximum. Good. That way we can actually summon Undini and get us a heal. 
I got all except for Max, which he's just sitting there laying in the corner being all stupid. Alright. Now that we're pretty much in a decent position, I still don't feel comfortable. We're gonna throw up a spectacle. Um, yeah, he is really, really... He's really gonna hurt us all, <laughs> all that bad with all that HP. Oh, Merity, why? Why? Why must you not? Good, I got you before Volt could. Um, alright. You guys, you need to get out of here. Uh, oh no. Very, very bad indeed. Stay over here, Volt. Don't go after them, go after Reed. Uh, we need a vi max vitality again on... Oh, ow, ow. Uh, is this going to be turning uh, into another Sylph? It might. It might turn into another Sylph. Stay alive, Reed. Stay alive long enough. Um, Barra needs some tea, toilet paper. Ow. Don't hit Farah. Oh, this is going to be horrible. Alright, come on. <laughs> Farah, we need you. Ow. Ah. Alright, sorry guys, no commentary here. I already went through my spiel about bolts with him being really, really difficult. Why the devil, Farah? Why? Come on, we need Undini. Yeah, this is why I kind of wanted to be at a higher level, but... Uh, why isn't I not doing Maelstrom? Come on, my Undini's vitality should be up. Because I've been sitting there spamming spread all the frickin' time. Alright. Farah, you're lacking on your healing duties. Thunderblade! Oh, shoot. 